Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, we're gonna get stuck into installing a HSP Tailgate Assist into the new Video Show Me How Whip. It's a 2021 Isuzu D-Max uh, X-Terrain and pretty excited to start modding this thing. This is the first video of a whole bunch coming out in the series. So if you haven't hit the old subscribe button, make sure you do so and you won't miss out on any of the other install videos. So without further ado, let's get started. And before we get cracking guys, excellent news. HSP being the legends that they are, have come on board to give one of these away to one of you guys. So awesome stuff. All you need to do is check out the description below on the one or two steps that you need to do to enter. And then we'll be picking one of you legends from the section there below so if you want to get involved and win one of these for yourself it'll be sent directly to your door just check the description below on how you can win so unless you're one of the lucky ones when you put your tailgate down it'll kind of do that and it does that because some utes will have a torsion bar inside here and make it a lot more gentle as it drops down and a lot lighter as well when you go to lift the thing back up to close so never fear there are mods available and that is exactly what this is so what this does is with some gas struts and there's a few different versions this one is by HSP4 drive accessories you can see their details in the description below so check it out these basically replace this setup so with the D-Max, same as a lot of other utes, they'll have a hinge just like this. And that's about it, same on both sides. So there's no sort of dampening or anything like that. What this will do is replace that sort of setup with some struts and cable to make this part, when you, when you drop this down, a lot more dampened. So it'll go down nice and slowly. And then lifting the thing up, you're sort of assisted when you lift it too, so that you can close it a lot easier. So as far as what you get, you basically get everything you need to obviously complete the job here. And the nuts and bolts of said install is exactly this. So here's our gas struts. And they're gonna sort of sit in here just like that. And then we have our actual cables here themselves. And what these do is replace the hinge side of things as well. So they'll sit in there just like that, so that you've got some extra backup for still being able to carry the same amount of weight. So the first thing that we, open that up, not necessary step, but let's just open that up. Uh, the first thing we need to do is remove our little rubbers. So you'll see that in there we have one rubber and then an additional there. Same on the other side, we wanna remove this guy, which they're pretty straightforward. They just pull out. They've got that little sort of mushroom head deal. And same here, we wanna pull that guy out as well. And similar thing, little mushroom head. Same on the other side, that is your first step. And when you have all four of those out, they can be discarded. I'd probably keep them in your spares box just in case you wanna reverse this process, but you won't need these for the rest of the install. So next step is we need to remove our old school hinges, obviously one on both sides, pretty straightforward. There is a 17 mil bolt in there, both sides. And then on the, on the bottom section here where it connects to the tailgate itself, you can see that there's kind of a slot and hinge type scenario happening there. So get that top one done and then you can just pull this sideways to pull that out. Obviously with this one, definitely recommend just doing one at a time. Otherwise, you're not gonna have anything to hold this guy up. So let's get cracking on that now. Good to see a bit of uh, Loctite there, Izuzu. And so once you're loose there like that, what should happen is we just line up the little T-slot there and that should pull straight out just like that just mind your mind your fresh duco there and your paint so that's one side all done ready to install our cable now to install the cable you can see that one end is the eyelet and the other end is the little t-bar so obviously that's going on there just like that 
so similar to our sort of stock setup so that's that end and this end's going to be going into the same spot there right so out of the bolts that come with the kit you're after one of these guys definitely recommend grabbing a, a little bit of a loctite giving it a, uh, a quick dab on here as well once you're all loctited up from there you want to grab your first wire the slotted end goes to the tailgate the circle goes to the tub and basically you want to line it up so that it's like this so that'll sit in there nice and flush just like so so get it at that angle then with your bolt that needs to go through this just like that and then that gets screwed straight in there straight into the factory hole now that is a 14 mil so we'll just do him up by hand and then once we're good to go there we can grab our 14 mil that we prepared earlier and hopefully if we tighten it the right way just nip nip him up doesn't have to be maniac tight just sort of regular tight and that should give you still a little bit of wiggle room in there but the actual nut itself should be nice and tight and then if you've thrown this in the right way you'll see that that angle should go that way so that on this end it's kicking out that way you'll have to lift the tailgate just a little so that you can get it into the slot just like that and then that one should be ready to go and you just need to do the same on the other side so the next step is to install our dampeners and they kind of make the magic happen so there's two different types we have a traction strut here and you can tell that by having a gander at the model number here and it'll say trs spec 2 that's your traction one that goes on the left hand side of your tailgate then we have the dampener strut and if i get this around the right way you can see that well one it's nowhere near as thick right and it's got the black shaft but that's a ksd spec 2 that goes on the right hand side so we'll do this one first so what you need to be doing is getting the little eyelet end that sits in there that way around just like that from there we then need to grab one of our little captive uh, nuts here or cap nuts or cap bolts or you know I don't know what the technical term something like that the one that sort of caps off screw him in we can talk all that down um, a little bit later and you can kind of see what's going on here right so there's our hinge for the tailgate itself and the next step is actually to remove that because what we need to do is grab our little brackets HSP has looked after us because on their brackets you can see here they actually have a left hand side and a right hand side so that's handy and that's very nice of them so right hand side we're going to need our right hand so from here it's a matter of getting your Torx screws here undoing this being really careful at this stage as well not to sort of misalign your tailgate so really kind of keep an eye on this needs to go back at exactly the same spot we want to undo these install that in there and then you can see what's happening here our strut base will click into there to help dampen when we open so a t40 star bit or torx bit is is going to be what you're after here and it's a matter of just loosening these guys right off and removing so once you've got these guys out we don't want to bin these like we've been able to do with pretty much everything else to this point we want to keep those what happens here is we want to get our right hand that's going to sit straight in over the top there you can see how this is happening and then we want to pop our our little mushroom head bolts straight through just like that and then put it all back together once again making sure that your alignment of the tailgate is spot on as well so just tighten those uh, back up and the next step is connecting this guy and once you're all nipped up here it doesn't have to be maniac tight just regular tight you want to pivot this around if you need to and then that is going to sit in just like a normal gas strut into the ball head there so just line him up and give it a good push and it should click into place pretty straightforward we're now installed final step for here is to grab our cable retainer I even include some alcohol towel 
or alcohol wipes. And the idea with this is this is gonna retain that cable there as you close the whole thing up. So give the area just a, a quick little once over. Grab one of your cable retainers. That's the absolute technical term there. Peel off the red and basically that's gonna line up with, with your last bolt here. So it's gotta sit in there just like that. And the idea is that'll sort of catch that cable as the whole thing clo uh, closes up. So final step to complete this side is grab your 14 there again. It's gonna be a bit finicky to get in there. But you just wanna tighten that guy back up so she's nice and tight. Doesn't have to be maniac tight, just regular tight. And that side is good to go. We'll give it a little bit of a test. Ooh, we've already got a bit of a bit of dampening happening, so that's pretty cool. And then final step really is to do exactly the same thing, but with our TRS, the traction strut, over on the passenger side. Now one thing to note on this side is with the strut itself, it has this section here on the bottom, this little silver bit, that's a spacer. So that's keeping this whole section from pinging back in there at a rate of knots. Just ask me how I know. So keep that in there when you install it. Do the same deal up here, install, you know, use a spanner or a ratchet, tighten that guy up, lock tight, the whole deal. But when you get to this bit, just leave that in there. Once your ball's on here correctly, lift the whole tailgate up until that is able to latch in, just like that side. And then once you've got it in, you can remove the spacer. So once you've got both sides in, make sure you've torqued everything up, lock tight on everything, Give it a test. Ooh, much lighter. Kept the alignment, that's a plus. The tailgate shut, and then opening. Ta-da, that's awesome. Have a go with that, nice and soft. So there we have it guys, nice and easy. Full install of the HSP tailgate assist. I'm pretty stoked with that. I reckon that's pretty awesome. Makes a big difference particularly for the utes that don't have any sort of strut system. To be honest, I wonder how much better the uh, the torsion bars are. If you do have a ute that has torsion bars in it, let me know in the comments below. Is it is it as good as this? Is it the same sort of deal as far as really dampening the opening like this? Does it, does it make that big of a difference? Or are you still looking at getting some of these struts on your rig as well? Let, let me know down below. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Check out the content that's already on the channel if you haven't already. There's stacks of different stuff already there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and, and hit the bell. What that'll do is send you a little notification every time a new video is live on the channel. The big part that's gonna be coming at the moment is the build-up of the new DMAX for the channel. There's stacks of different mods that are sitting here ready to ready to go, ready to be done and, and then filmed and edited and everything else so that you guys can check it out. So subscribe, hit the bell if you're interested. Other than that guys, as always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys.